All right, Tristan. Uh, yeah, um, I got third today at locals. Um, also playing uh, Tri Brigade. Um, uh, I don't have a, I don't have cross cross designator yet. Um, I got one. Slowly, get, and I'm slowly gonna get them. But uh, that there are things I would change because mm -hmm. designator is the best Yu-Gi-Oh card. In history of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, of all time and forever. Like it's really hard to describe how powerful that card is. All right, so uh, tell tell me real quick about uh, some of your matchups today. Uh, so today I played against um, uh, Salamangrate. I played against Salamangrate. Um, a uh, Salamangrate, uh, Tenny, and uh, ABC, which uh, which aren't the most meta decks, but like um, yeah, I technically drew against ABC because uh, uh, who's the second place guy and, and those, those matches are like very back and forth because like mm -hmm. when that day gets going it just it, it doesn't stop mm -hmm. um, and yeah all but right anyway, but anyway um oh is it looking down all um, right yeah so let's go ahead and get into the deck profile yeah show us what you're working with yeah so it's just it's just it's this cat try um it's just very standard it's three kit three nurgle uh three fractal uh three karis because we are on three cat uh just because you need names and um, I'm, and uh, I'm on desires, so like I need to make sure I don't vanish. Uh, if I have to resolve it first, then I don't want to vanish too many like uh, beast types. True, true. And make sure you have to resolve you have to resolve all your cards. All right. So before we move on from the tri brigade monsters, yeah. I got to pick your brain with this, yeah. and we got to get this on high quality camera. Yeah. So about a week or two ago, you had mentioned that uh, Fractal is. And a quote better than Alistair. because uh, it is. But we're gonna. But wait, it was. Let's, let's it get was, into that. It was until they uh, limited Tenki, and so now it's a little worse than Alistair. It's a lot harder to find him. All right. Well, uh, let, take me through that thought process real quick. Yeah. So the whole reason why is that like uh, is uh, it's another like card that like doesn't that um, that is actually like a lot. I think is a, actually a lot more powerful than people give it credit for. And like is like this is the card that got Tenki limited. Um, is that like it's a one card engine that ends on it's it's not a lot but it's just like double dragon lords or hypothetically in the future like better like uh, like link two or link mm -hmm. three like beast 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 warrior wing beast type interruptions mm -hmm. and so like it's just like it's pretty self-contained because you just need to play three fractal and then like one or two nerval depending on like whether you want to draw it and then like nerval's kind of like like kind of like invocation because like you just fractal for nerval add, add the add another copy of fractal normal summon fractal and then just like banish two to make double dragon lords and that's just like a that's just like a type of interruption. Yeah, of course it's not as powerful as Mecha Bow, but like it's something that I think people need to consider, especially mm -hmm. because like going forward, one of the reasons why I think tri brigades are gonna be in the meta for a while is as long as Konami keeps releasing Beast Beast Warrior Loom Beast archetypes, you they have to be wary of these cards, and especially one that don't use the normal summon. True. Which uh, there might be one of those getting more support in an upcoming set. Alright, <laughs> so we gotta be on the lookout for that. Okay, take us through the rest of the deck then. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, um, and so for uh, so other cards uh, are just like so it's like just like some like consistency cards are three desires and one prosperity. Uh, I own one prosperity and also and then like one tanky. There's like consistency cards. Um, I don't own all, all prosperities, but it's just like an extra consistency card. And also, just a, I don't have designators, so like it helps you like play through stuff because it like hands right. up you, you find more cards, things like that. But it's just really good. Like you just drill like because we're on pure track, you have like, a lot of extra deck space, and so you like you drill for fractal, drill for tanky, drill for cat. Those are mm -hmm. very important. Go for like the card to protect cat. It's very it's very powerful. Yeah. Like Pro prosperity is a lot more powerful. It's just like since it's come out, all the decks that in the in the in the format have needed a lot of their extra deck. So like it's yeah. not as powerful as as it could be. Um, and then it just is like more powerful one of It's called by the grave. And then this would have been this will be desi the one designator I, I now own going forward. Mm -hmm. But I'm a, uh, this is one of the cards that would cut for designators. This duster. It's just a powerful. I just want to like some amount of like back row interaction. Yeah. And um, it's de it's the most powerful one to like drill to drill for off prosperity. So mm -hmm. that's the gist of it. Like, yeah. Um, and then some for like real trap cards, you have uh, Trevor Giver Volt. I don't have secrets yet, but that's okay. And then, and then <laughs> order, and then order, and, you sh and uh, I'm a pretty big fan of playing common order uh, to like tell people because it's a common. Yeah, 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 I can feel that. Yeah, uh -huh. but yeah, um, but order, uh, yeah, order is insane. It's the tri you take when you take the tri brigade oath, uh, you you get to open order a lot. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, that was for, a good one. And then for like uh, hand traps interact, mm -hmm. and then for like hand traps, because uh, they're like real trap card names, they're like hand traps. Um, it's gamma because it, it protects cat. It's very good. Um, it's, it's very good. Um, uh, like, at protecting cat is very good going second. I'm normally not the biggest fan of this card, but like with cat is extraordinarily powerful, and like it just auto wins games when you open it when it plus cat. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then three ash is uh, three ash is just the generically best card. And three imperm and two Valor because these are very good cards right now with like tri with try and like there's a lot of decks where he's good. And also just like there's a lot of chain blocking going on in various decks. So like these these are good. And then the last two are just one ofs, which is just a bell, which is a bell and a crow. Um, which is I, I I like playing like the one crow because there's like uh there's like uh there's the, there's combos I prefer to do with like when cat resolves mm -hmm. that like search a crow as a piece of interaction which is like actually very important and like it's come up enough times where like I've wanted to be able to search this off Shuri in, against like certain decks so right. like, this card is very like like this card is very powerful in this deck but it's definitely cuttable and it's one of the cards I probably cut for like more designators It'd probably be like this and like a Valor yeah uh, is what I is what I consider cutting and then. Um, maybe finding room for a nib in that case, but like, mm -hmm. I don't think you really need to worry about nib with this deck, at least main deck. Um, um, a because like you can play around it pretty pretty easily, and then uh, and then like um, and the hand charts you care about are Valor, Imperm, and Ash. Yeah. For like cross up designator, and then Bell Bell is significant because it's something that is reasonable for them to have main deck that interrupts that interacts with your best card, mm -hmm. which is probably good. Yeah. Um, um, and then so the extra deck. Um, it's all, uh, it's all, so so for the extra deck, uh, Al Mirage. It's the, you have to play it. I really wish I did, I really wish I didn't have to because just taking up an extra deck slot and like your best hands you don't need it. Yeah. But like it's necessary for your for like your mediocre hands. Um, and, I, and then I played Lambda. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Matt did too. But like I, th I think this card's like pretty good. Like one, one one of my big complaints about Gamma is that like it's a hand trap that doesn't do anything. Like once you set up your board and pass one, the right. strengths of playing like a, a one card engine hand trap deck. Is you make your board and then like all your interaction is in your hand, mm -hmm. so like you don't lose to like lightning storms or or um, uh, or duster or things like that, or, like board players and can still like interact with your opponent. And gamma is not a card that does that. Right. Now, now this deck has a little bit better because you know like put back gamma, but I'm not. A, but like that's I don't necessarily think that's a good reason. Um, however, I do think gamma is very good at protecting cat, and this this helps it because there's times where you can just like make this and just and just like turn on the like make this instead of like something else like. One thing is you can make this instead of Rugal at the end of your combo if you have Gamma, um, in like your in your default combo, and then this turns on your Gamma in your hand. Nice. And so that, and so that's and that's very powerful because you don't have to end on Rugal. We end on Rugal because it is uh, just because the thing you can make that does, that playing your extra deck that like does something, but like any generic link to functions and that and Lambda actually like does stuff with the deck. Nice. And then I'm uh, for link two, uh, two Farajet and, and Bear Broom, and then Double Dragon Lords of. Um, uh, I really like Farajet. I think Farajet's a card you need like a bunch of. Like, like I play a three if a three if there was room. It's just like a card you need like every turn. If like when you're playing this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, although I do wish I could play a second Bear Broom, and if I would cut cut the Lambda for anything, it'd be a second Bear Broom because like you want to make this. But like I do the reason why it's like sometimes you have to banish it and you have to like you have to like make it with a try and then you can't bring it back. Right. But whenever you can hard make this, it's very hard to lose the game because then like when you activate your Revolt, your Revolt searching revolts, and then like mm -hmm. you you don't you don't lose on like interruptions. Um, and like Rugal, finally, finally Hollow. Yeah, finally Hollow. we finally put some respect yeah. on his name. Yeah, it's, it's the best I've already upgraded. And, Honestly, uh, in the entire the, Megaton. The and then the card that needs a rarity upgrade really bad, uh, Doom Eagle. No, there's a rare. It's fine. <laughs> Rares aren't higher rarity in common fight at all. <laughs> I will argue that entirely. Um, Just at the entire internet. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Rest Vulgar is very powerful. It, um, uh, it's powerful at what it does. It's, it's like sometimes you can just like end on it. I, it, hasn't, it hasn't come up, but like it does stuff. It kills it kills your opponent. Like when you can trap and they can't do anything. Just, um, but most importantly, it's just another link three because like you need to be able to banish three to like make access code or make or make a uh, shirt off off a single uh, normal summon. And you need so you need two guys. And so if you make this, you have to have this. I really wish I could cut one of these two, but it's very hard to. to so once again, you want room for cards. Yeah. Uh, because of the most important card in the deck that I do think if you're playing three others, you're playing like a pure version is three Shurig. Um And you're on three Shurig. Three today. Shurig. This is the like this is the best card in Tri Brigade. Like does everything. And the reason why I play three is because like there's certain combo lines with Cat, mm -hmm. where like you can make this, um, uh, you can make this and then link it off before you make the Appaloosa. You link this off. You can make this and then and before and uh, make kit hard make kit and then make it. You have one less absolute Appaloosa negate, but you have an extra card in hand, mm. and that's a it's very important for like a lot of these games that go back and forth a lot. The thing is you can't do that, and and then you, and then when you activate your revolt, you get a revolt to search revolt. The thing is if you only play two, then you can't do searching the revolt doesn't do anything because you don't have another shurig, so you need a third shurig to do that. And I think that's a very important for like for like grinding and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, 
and the card is just it, the card just does a lot and something like like you want one on your first turn one on their turn and one on your next turn right like like you just want this card you just always want this card for sure and then the other link uh, link fours are appaloosa and access code these cards are these cards are very good very insane i don't think i made appaloosa today like my, i was gonna like, i was getting like hand trapped in, like, mm -hmm. in weird spots and like i only been able to make it but like it's still very good it, like, this card's very these cards are very good they are the best are, best link fours. They're, the the they're the best link fours. Access code just that makes you not have to do math. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a lie. That is I, a lie. I keep losing to the I, You've I, lost several times by not doing math with access code. code. Or like not or like or like I've done the math and realized fucking like uh sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't not, care. Uh I'm like I'm like three hundred damage short because I have because I have uh like a Karis instead of a fractal and it's just like <laughs> like like the cards you search matter. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last two cards are two exes, uh, which is Ronin Raccoon and Zeus. Yo, and the boy. Uh, I don't have a Sky Calvary, and I think it's pretty marginal which rank two you <laughs> you play for my um, cat. Mm -hmm. I do think you should because there's there's like cat tutoring lines where you can tutor cat with with uh, with uh, Shurei, like in later stages of the game, like you would do with like zoo cards. Um, so you need so you need something that does this. Um, Ronin Raccoon. I think all the all the possible targets have like their ups and downs. Because the thing is, is that like. It doesn't matter that Sky Calvary can just attack mm -hmm. because like it doesn't matter that you don't have to activate it because you had to activate cat to get to this. True. So or do weird things where you normal summon kit and then pitch and summon pitch and yeah. summon carries. But like uh, so like you don't need to worry about this. And then this also outs Dragoon because it makes a token that's big enough and that could and it could come up or it hasn't come up yet because I haven't had to make it. Mm -hmm. Like, cause like resolving cat when you're the game most of the time anyway, um, and so you'd rather just do like trap brigade stuff. But like Zeus is a powerful enough card to just like you want to have access to it. But like if you if the stuff I mentioned about like cutting cards for like for like uh, a second bear broom and like other cards, you can like cut these for it if like you don't like. like Zeus is a lot more accessible now. Yeah, and, and Runner Raccoon's an old card. Um, True, but like. Um, this card is very good. In case you don't know, people don't know what this one does because like, I think this is the one card. <laughs> uh, so it's two level two beast type monsters. You can attach once you can attach material and you make a token that whose attack is the highest uh, attack of all monsters on the field. You use or, you or your opponents. So like it can always like crash into stuff and then like it can help you like kill hypothetically by like sh with like making sure like you can like mm -hmm. search like like if you have like a shurig in play from like resolving revolt on their turn and like you can like cat to make this. And then like make a token, and then that's almost lethal. Yeah. Um. And but then I don't. This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And, Ronan, good boy. Oh, and the reason this card makes Zeus, which is important, is that its other effect is that while you control a beast type monster, you uh, this card can't be destroyed. So oh, nice. Just, so like this, so that's how you make it. Is, it. is that you just you summon this? You either have a guy in play, or like you detach to make a token, which is a beast type, and you can just like walk this into anything. Nice. Like take some damage, but like you can just walk this into anything. And like once again, if they pop the token or whatever, that that whatever card was going to kill the token is going to kill Scott Calvary. So like yeah, like 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 like, it, like it's pretty marginal mm -hmm. which one you play. Um, I think Scott Calvary is probably better, just because like it it more cleanly outs Zeus in like a zone that in the it in the damage step, mm -hmm. but uh, it's still pretty good. Uh, yeah. All right, now take us through your side deck and let's see what you were packing. In the uh, side. So the side deck uh, was, I forgot, uh, I, this was the side deck I had assembled for last week, and I just assembled, but like, it has like, a lot of the same theory, uh, it's just like, uh, so like, uh, it's not really for like, what I was going to play now, but like, I like, I play three Phantasmae, mm -hmm. um, uh, and like, these are like, kind of like combo cards, or combo stop, other combo stop cards, but they're like hand, hand trap-ish cards, which is like, Phantasmae, Dark Ruler, and like, um, Valor, mm -hmm. and the third Valor. Uh, Valor is obviously really good, like in Trimirrors, and like, uh, and then, like, I think Phantasmia is insane in Trimirrors because, like, it helps you find Valor. It just, like, gives you cards. The Trimirror is a lot more about, like, resources than, like, actually, like, doing that. And so, like, getting a plus one and getting a larger body in play just, like, can put you so far ahead. Um, especially when you're on the draw and you're already getting an extra card. And so, like, this. And then this is, like, my card to stop, like, on the combo boards. Yeah. Uh, uh, with, uh, against, like, Drytron. Mm -hmm. um, these were, if I own Droplets, these would be Droplets. Like, right, I think of course. probably play Droplet. Droplets is also... A card that I really want to be more accessible because I think it's similarly a lot more powerful than people give it credit for. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, it is. Like, everyone knows it's powerful, but like, its applications as breakthrough skill are a lot more powerful than I think people realize. Right. Yeah. Um, but like, this card just very. This card just like outs a whole Drytron board, and that's what's important. Um, um, and you can find it off Phantasmae. That, I, like, like I don't like Droll against Drytron because a, a lot of time they're playing like um, uh, like a. Uh, Dragoon, so like yeah, so it doesn't matter anyway. 
Yeah, and so does, so does it matter? So you just want a card that, so like, it, these could be drolls, but like this also can just be droll and it's like always out to the board. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. And, and then, and then, I'm not and then sometimes there's certain decks where like you just board out Imperm and like when you're boarding with Phantasmin, you want the third gather anyways, so you have yeah. effect with that with Phantasmin. Although just remember, when you activate Phantasmin, you can chain Imperm. True. Yeah. Uh, it's for like, on like Halk and stuff like that. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and then for like backer hit cards, I play uh, uh, the Dino Rustle Pink for Tops. Uh, this card isn't in your side deck, you have to have a very good reason not to. <laughs> uh, it's like, it, it, I it, feel personally attacked. Yeah, yeah, like like the card is just insane. It's cyber, it's like cyber, dra it's like 2020 cyber dragon that was released in 2018. Like, mm -hmm. like, Can confirm was playing striker today, did not side pink. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh play uh, that. No, I, I like that. I still probably play pink. <laughs> um, it cleared itself in the main monster zone, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and then uh, two cosmic and two twin. Um, uh, this is like something where like I just wanted like uh, a decent amount. These are like background interaction cards. I, I like having around five between the main and side. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe six, depending on exactly. I just wanted like different types. Um, it's another case of like you play like lightning storm here, probably with the twin twister. I think cosmic's are very, very good, especially against mm -hmm. like people running eldritch and things like that. Right. Uh, this card does help a little bit in certain scenarios where you have to hit multiple back row. So like I like playing a mix of them. Mm -hmm. Like. Like it's not like it's not about like playing three of it's like sometimes it sometimes like and also there's like siding patterns too like mm -hmm. i want like five backer removal cards and the best back removal card is pancreatops and then yeah you, and you play like at like as you uh, as you do with the other ones the last two cards in side deck are three solemn judgment this is the best card in my side deck like it's just like um uh, this negates normal summons negating normal summons is pretty powerful but like a board and almost always going first it just like interacts with everything favorably i would main deck it if like i felt comfortable with it going second but like i don't think it's that good enough um uh but like the card's very powerful when you know you're going first and you see it um there are like small time issues but like the card just the card just says no to like the powerful cards that actually end your in, end your game like yeah but, like uh like it lets you set a bunch of cards and just like hit the lightning storm and it lets you um, and it, it just like it, and it also just like hits cards this deck has problems with, like Nadir Servant. True, and true, just, true. Just like card, single cards that generate lots of advantage. If yeah. It and yeah, and it also just like yeah, it stops normal. It stops like monster summons, which is insane. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that was uh, Trishan's. Your uh, also we, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, affectionately <laughs> dub him the Professor of Tri Brigade. Uh, third place. Any yeah. shout outs you want to make? Uh, to uh, Olympus for like uh, being a store for like being a store where I can play at like <laughs> like and and things like that and um uh, uh, shout out to Art for like f for filming all this and then um, uh, shout out to like Anthony the ABC guy for just like always giving me good games even when we <laughs> both like draw abysmally. <laughs> um, uh, uh, if you've ever had your, uh, I, I attacked with Rescue Cat two turns in a row. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> love to see um, it. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, that's about All it. All right, man. Yeah. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank, yeah, thank you.